guys, it is officially here, the first beta for iOS 11.4. Apple has officially released it today to register developers. And if you're a public beta tester, you may see this a little later tonight, if not tomorrow at the latest. So the new software brings a few features back. I want to go ahead and show you here that the software comes in at approximately two gigabytes, depending on your device. And uh, the new software version, the build number for this new software, let me go here into the about section, would be... 15F5037C. So that's going to be the first build number for iOS 11.4. And what's new with this software? Well, on the left, I have 11.4 beta 1. On the right, the official release of 11.3. If we go here into iCloud, one of the features that we were hoping for to the most in 11.3 was removed, which is messages in the cloud. In 11.4 beta 1, Apple has officially brought back messages in the cloud, which means Apple is having a little trouble with the software. It still isn't just quite ready for the the general public so Apple is still working on this software to be released to the general public here it is on the beta once again another feature that was brought to iOS 11.4 beta 1 is the stereo pairing for the HomePod so uh, AirPlay 2 which is also enabled here on the Apple TV as well it is available on the latest build for iOS 11.4 beta 1 as well so if you were looking to use that feature and try it out if you want to become a public beta tester again links will be in the description it's a pretty cool feature because you can share uh, you know different sources different audio sources to different devices and also pair devices as a stereo sound if you have more than one HomePod so these features have been brought back to 11.4 I haven't really seen anything else that's major such as this but it looks like a step in the right direction hopefully we continue on this trend and god please apple just gives us give us messages in the cloud we've been waiting for it for quite some time i think it is time for uh, this feature to be rolled out as well with the airplay 2 feature so a lot of new things happening here with 11.4 of course this is also aiming to bring support for the classroom application on ipads as well so stay tuned as more features are discovered and i start playing around with the software in terms of battery performance and all that i'll give follow-up videos to you guys i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you on the next one. Peace.